Ingela Irman. Uh, I'm a Swedish artist and I'm here at Gasworks with an exhibition called Nocturne. My work often starts in the strong emotions of everyday life and I kind of need to find my own means for doing uh, whatever I do. And often it's been the case that I've crafted objects or sculptures uh, in different techniques with very available materials and dressed up in them. And, and then they become costumes that I expose myself to, to the gazes of other people. In the costume, I pretend that I am a plant or an animal doing some small action uh, of nature, like giving birth or blooming. So the protagonist of this show is the Swedish filmmaker Jan Lindblad, and he was once violently uh, embraced in the coils of a big anaconda that he wrestled in a river in South America during one of his film shoots there. And what happens in my video is what he would have seen if he was eaten by this snake. For him, who really wanted to be part of nature and blend in and belong somewhere, he was uh, quite critical towards like the contemporary modern society and described cities as cancers on the surface of the earth. I am imagining that being eaten, that when he encounters the digestive system of the snake, uh, his dream is fulfilled. He will then once literally blend with nature and become part of uh, something larger and belong. Back in 2009, when I made the video, Green Paradise, that opens the show, I kind of left him in the middle of the snake in the digestive system. And now we're continuing with the rear part uh, of the snake and uh, what it would be like for him to exit again and what, what's left of him there. And uh, visitors to this show can, if they want, uh, wear uh, a costume or a mantle with a headpiece that I made uh, that turns you into John Lidblad's ghost or uh, the feces of the anaconda. So moving into the next room, uh, we're entering a cave where uh, a bird species live. It's called, that's called the oil bird. And I came across this bird through the films of Jan Lindblad. He was one of the first to film it uh, with an infrared camera and he was very excited about it. And uh, so the special thing about this bird is, is that it lives its life in constant darkness. It's a nocturnal bird that hatches in caves uh, and only at night it goes out to, to fetch food. It's, it's a fruit eating bird. Early settlers and indigenous people used to harvest uh, chicks from the nests and boil them and use the fat uh, to light oil lamps. So here's this uh, violent uh, story about uh, how energy kind of moves from one form to another and uh, maybe the, the souls of these, uh, of these uh, nestlings flicker in the flames of the lamps. So the oil board costume is made with reed, the flower heads of reed that I plucked in a pond in Malmö where I live. And, uh, I've made the, I'm attaching it to a metal wire net so that it looks like the plumage of a, of a feather. And I was quite intrigued by like, that it was possible to do that and that it, it looks like uh, almost the feathers of a bird. And the little chick is also uh, hand stitched. Uh, there are some pieces of wood and rubber foam and it's got the filaments that will once become the feathers are made with uh, a sheep's wool. And yeah, the sound that it makes when, when it's um, fed with fruit in the video comes from two dog toys that I bought in a nearby uh, store. The feathers are made with the silk fabric uh, that I had in my studio and also a straw of reed. And uh, the silk is glued with a, a wheat starch that I bought in an Asian uh, store, like a food store, and uh, boiled into a glue. And they're painted with the uh, ink 
So in the video, the parent bird is feeding its chick uh, with fruit, big fruit. It kind of stuffs it into the throat uh, of the nestling. And there's something about this both violent and tender like situation uh, that I that I wanted to to express, I think. And I wasn't it wasn't a conscious uh, decision, but uh, I think I picked it up from my sister and friends who at that time when I made the video had got uh, babies and I was watching them with uh, equal uh, feelings of envy and horror. Uh, and it's this mixed emotion towards parenting, I think, that yeah, comes through in, in the video. This thing of being eaten and eating is present both in, in the video uh, with the oil bird, but also in the, in the green paradise, in the entrance. So I guess that's something that, can, that I come back to, what it's like to be something or what it's like to be to contain another, another someone. And uh, also the act of dressing up in costume is that, right? To be inside something that is something else. And what is it for me who's in there, but also for someone else who's encountering me? These layers of identity that we can step in and out of and be immersed in.